Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, I'm going to show you a great way to multiply together two binomials using a technique known as FOIL. Now, if you've never heard of FOIL before, it's basically a mnemonic in order to keep track of all the terms that get multiplied together. All right? So let's go ahead and write down exactly what FOIL means. FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, and last. And this is how we will remember which terms to multiply. Okay, so let's see how it's going to work with these two binomial, binomials right here. So when I look at their terms, I want to look at the first terms of each. Okay, that would be the 3x and the 4x. And think, all right, if I multiply these two together, what would I get? Well, 3 times 4 would give me a 12, and x times x would give me an x squared. So that would handle our first terms. Now I want to take care of my outside terms. The outside terms will be the 3x and this minus 5. And I imagine multiplying these two together. So 3 times a negative 5 would be a negative 15. And since this one has an x, it looks like a negative 15x. Perfect. I'll take care of the outside ones. All right. Now we want to take care of our inside terms. That would be the 5 and the 4x. So let's multiply those two together. And of course, 5 times 4 is 20. And since the 4 has an x, this will be a 20x. All right, well, looks like we're on a roll. Only one more to go. And those are our last terms. In this case, it would be the 5 and the negative 5. So 5 times 5 is 25, positive times a negative, negative 25. And as you can see, through this process, every term in one binomial gets multiplied by every single term in the second binomial. So it's, it's essentially the same multiplication that we should be doing. All right. So once we've taken care of all of our proper terms, we need to take a look at the polynomial and try and simplify it from here. Now, most of the time, the simplifying will come from these two middle terms. We'll probably be able to combine them in some sort of way. And sure enough, this one is no different. So negative 15x plus a 20x will give us a 5x. All right, so in the end, when I've multiplied these two binomials together, my final answer would be 12x squared plus 5x minus 25. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.